We're back. Another episode of Toast to Life. We are here with Ooh, the one and only Hector. Ooh, clap, 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 clap. We're good, we're good. When I say it took me a while to get this guy on here, it took me a while to get this guy on here because he is not a kind of person. Let's talk about it. We're sitting here in Big Bear, California. For the people that follow me on Instagram, they know I've been posting a cabin. The owner is right here. One and only. The one and only. <laughs> one and only. We're in a prime location, so we're doing this when it's like 35 degrees outside. But so let's get to what matters is so you grew up in what what years? In the nineteen eighties, nineties? No. Uh, well, born nineteen seventy nine. Born nineteen seventy nine. Eighties, nineties, I guess. Graduated Same. high school ninety seven. Ninety seven. Damn, I was only two years old when he was already <laughs> graduating. So we're yeah. here. So obviously he's my girlfriend's family. I met him. I think it's like almost going on four years and when my mom watches this I already know mom we're drinking water but it was a good thing and a blessing in disguise because the opportunities that were given from him were insane and still going and forever in debt what what you doing after high school you went to college yeah yeah um, community college actually when community it, college she went directly to well, not directly, but Cerritos Community College. There you go. Um, this is ad, admin. No, I'm lying. Actually, I started administration of justice. I always wanted to be a cop. <laughs> you know, there always is. wanted to be a cop, but didn't work out. Not that it didn't work out. I, you know, you meet people, different people in your lives, and it takes a different route. You know, so I went the business route. Dang. Yeah. So, if, I mean, they don't know it. Be, but you have told me it's about who you know, not what you know. Exactly. Is that what it went into? Because you went, what university did you go to after that? Castellale. Castellale. Yeah. Boom. Castellale. Did, did you say it planned out the way after you graduated Castellale? Or did it turn differently from there? Well, it never plans out the way you, you know, you Facts. want, want it, it to be. It, 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 it never does. So I went to Castellale, met a lot of good people, you know. I graduated in 2005, mm -hmm. business admin, you know, my minor was in international business. I always wanted to do international business, but, you know, back then, all I knew was, you know, or who I knew was people local, so I got a job with, you know, a, a local government agency, and I've been there since then, but throughout, throughout the time, you know how you say like partying or drinking you meet people yeah so <laughs> yeah so i met um one friend that was big in i don't know if you guys remember back then but it was the fast and the furious so he he, he was like all his cars you know he 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 was bringing importing the accessories for them like the tail lights and all hair lights so i used to party with him a lot and and back then he's like hey um you know ebay starting this is in the early 2000s eBay starting you know I only do wholesale try try the eBay I'm like no no I'm not I mean well, what am I gonna make what do I make yeah. out of it it's 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 nothing you know what could you know two three dollars here he goes no just try it just try it here I'm gonna give you some items to start with so that's how I started you know I started with one item you know I don't know if you guys remember it was the fender flares for the cars in the side, the fake yeah, ones. Yeah, people still, ones. People are still <laughs> rocking those. Yeah, yeah, so those, I remember, I mean, I was clearly back to this day, I yeah. remember I was buying them for $5 and I was selling them for 30 And Jeez. I was selling them like, like two or three a day. I'm like, shit, you know. There's back money in this. Yeah, back then, you know, yeah. like early 2000s, and you know, like, you know well, this minimum you wage was, I don't know, $10 and Dude. I was making, you know, in a day, you know, 60 70 dollars off one item i'm like god this is really working you know yeah so that's how i started and i started evolving you know not a, you know i meeting new people but i i mostly was was um loyal to this one guy because he was teaching me everything and giving me the items that was sell and uh, nice. and a lot of buyouts you know i don't know if you guys from you know 
everything's online now. So you you know, yeah. there's a lot of companies going out of business and doing buyouts. So I was doing buyouts and through him, and I was buying a lot of items, you know, and reselling them. And that's, so that's how I started. So how long in this resale business, everything you're doing, how long have you been in that industry itself? I'm thinking um, at least 13 years, you know. 13 was it years. promising since you started? Um, in, when, when you started, so day and age, right? So we're now, we're in 2021. This is, man, it's 20 years later yeah. from when, when you were there. When you when you started quote unquote is there a difference like when things aren't going your way in business and and you people stop was that a, the like thing for you like where things weren't going your way or the way you saw it and you thought about stopping no no i never stopped because i i never knew what was everything was new for me so i was like yeah everything was um yeah i said new so everything like I buy them, sell, and I was I had a regular job, so I really had my regular paycheck. So anything coming After in, that. yeah, was shit to the pocket. You know, it was to the pocket, and like everything was new. So I'm like, hey, so you bring in two, three, five hundred bucks a week extra. Which is like, if time. you need dash cams, let me know. I got them. <laughs> so yeah, anything extra was to the pocket. So I mean, it was like, God, whatever, whatever is whatever is coming in will be you know gratefully received so that's how i started and i just just you know all my money saving it reinvesting reinvesting and, and learning you know and you know you gotta um learn from people that are willing to teach you so like this uh -huh. this episode mm -hmm. I, what i really wanted you on here for is business purposes right yeah. because everybody now thinks starting a business is very easy like my dad started a business um, I think we got like 10 years in and it was just like, you got to start with a couple clients different because it's, it's a different uh, work of line. You that you made it this far, do you think there's a big difference between the generation when you came up, between our generation now, how we are? Like, is there like a, you think there's like a gap? Like, is there like a mentality state? Is there like given type of thing? Or what, what do you think it is? It's, um, I think, the new generation has more advantages because they have real estate, they have um, online, they have gurus that are willing to teach you. But the one thing they don't have is balls. You know what I mean? I, I, not that I, <laughs> not that, I, not, not, not that I had them, but I mean, I, I mean, I took the risk because I didn't have nothing to lose. You know, when you don't have nothing to lose, you, you know, take your risk. I mean, you know, I. I, I remember telling my friend, hey, look at this item, you know, I'm, I'm selling this freaking item a uh, hundred a month and I'm making certain, you know, you're like, sure shit, know. and you're buying it locally. Yeah, I'm buying it locally. He goes, hey, man, well, let's buy it from China. I'm like, Sh I don't know jack shit about China. I don't, sorry. I don't know. That's what I want to say. And he's like, all right. Um, he's, he's still quiet and he's like, all right, so I'll be back. So, but, he started researching it and learning. He just started learning, you know? That's one thing, everybody has to, I mean, to start something, you have to research it. You can't get into something without learning the product or learning the industry or learning. I think that's what like, a, lot, a lot of people think it's easy because they see, like how we've yeah. talked about way previous, is people see the outcome, but they yeah. don't see everything you had to go through in order to get to that position, yeah. like the income wise. Like now we're sitting in, Instead of renting out a, a place, we're sitting in your own fucking Airbnb. Like we're sitting yeah. in your like this is quote unquote the playroom, the garage, mm -hmm. the, everything's set up. But when I'm talking about you got it from the gutter and brought it up, that's what it is. It was a disaster, and yeah. I don't know how he sees it or how he saw it at that time, but it it's out there in Airbnb. So for everybody looking in, we'll, I'll put that link down in there. Um, but when you it, it takes a certain type of person to get to this position, but when it, like, we were just speaking earlier off the camera, like, there were certain things that you had to sacrifice, and what is that? Like, for, you already told me, but what is that? Like, what did you sacrifice? I think, I mean, the, the most I sacrifice is time. You know, everybody, everybody's time is valuable, you know? Right. You, you have to, I mean, I, I still, to this day, I, I work on weekends, nights, and everything. I'm, I'm no you know, fucking kidding. I'm yeah. like, Sunday night, yeah. hey, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm making orders. Yeah, <laughs> I'm still, you know, every day, you yeah. know, I wake up on the laptop, getting orders ready, processing, you know, I'm a 
one man business, you know. And um, so I think the the most thing is is time. You know, you just gotta put in your time, as they say. Yes. You know, and I, I don't think it ever ends. You know, it's you're always gonna put in your time. I mean, most of us we 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 grow up from uh, you know we're, we're how should we say we didn't have everything handed to us. You know, yes. so so we have to learn and put our work so they're the hard way yeah exactly so that's you know I'm, I'm i'm grateful that i have friends you know family that teach me that gives me the the right route to stuff you know and and i learned from it and the the how the chinese say it, it's kaizen it's always continuous improvement so if somebody teaches you something you learn from it you research it, you continue to do better you know how uh, you know, for me, they, they taught me how to do it. Like going back to when I was telling my friend, you know, hey, I'm selling a hundred of this item a month. You, and he's like, wow, where are you getting from China? He goes, well, let's go to China. I'm like, I didn't know nothing about China. So he's like, okay, so, you know, two, three months later, he goes, hey, I went to China. I researched the products, blah, blah, boom. He goes, okay, let's go to China. I'm like, how, how, where, do you, how do we import yeah. it? He goes, oh, don't worry, I'm gonna teach you, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, I didn't believe him. He goes, I, you know what? Get your flight to. I, I don't think to, I've ever asked you. Yeah. Where were you born? Me? I was born in Culiacan, in Sinaloa. <laughs> <laughs> in Sinaloa. So, you know. So coming, like, yeah. I, I met you years later, way years later. Was there, was it a, like a hiccup coming or starting at that point? I mean, I know you went to school here and everything. Yeah. But was there like a, um, I would say a cultural thing, depending on where you were coming from, like regardless of where you came from, like city, was there a cultural thing like, hey, you got your backtrack now because you're not from here or whatever the case is? No, because I'm, I mean, I grew up here, I grew up in Boyer Heights, and uh, I mean, you could say Spanish in my first language, but I always grew up here, so everything I know is from here. Puro yeah. Los Angeles, <laughs> yeah. California. But everything's from here. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. So, for me, everything. I mean, my first language is Spanish, but I consider it like English. But yeah, I still, I still, I still have my my Spanish accent. You know, <laughs> <laughs> so you, you don't know, know him, but he yeah. has that. You're yeah. ready, ready to go. So, but going back to our friend, so he's like, "Hey, let's go to China." I'm like, "No, I, uh, well, what am I gonna do in China?" I'm like, "How? How am I gonna get? Don't worry about it. He goes, let's go." So he goes, "Get your flight. I'm gonna give you instructions how to get there. Blah blah blah." So he goes, "Like shit, all right." So. I got I got my flight to Wanjo, 14 hour straight flight, you know. He's What's like Yeah, so he's like, okay. So I got my flight, he goes, okay, once you get to to the airport, you go to this this teleprompter and tell him and you point out where you're going. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna give you everything. So I point out where I'm going, boom, I point out where I'm going, okay, let's get the subway. So I get the subway and I'm finding the route he told me. So boom, once I get out the route, he's waiting for me. He goes, Okay, let's go to the show. Let's go register. So for anybody starting a business, Canton Fair is one of the main things from China. Once it once it opens, I guarantee you, you guys will love it. You know, I'm gonna be one of the first ones there when it opens. So if you guys want to go, you know, maybe I'll take you. We 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 ready, we ready. <laughs> maybe but that, but going back to like yeah. how he's saying about like when you started with your first item, whatever. Yeah. He, he put me on with his first item, oh. and at first I looked at him. He told me the price. I was like, man, that's that's crazy. Like I don't, I don't have that type of money to play with, or I'm scared. More, more, more or less, scared to play that type of money. And man, luckily, it, it's been paying off. It's extra, how you said, extra, extra income already from what we're already doing. And it's just about who you know, because again, I met him obviously through through my girlfriend, my baby mama, and even as family purposes, business purposes is different, yeah. and it, it it goes to that extent, like. I think what people don't know or what we, we, we just don't want to know is it takes a lot, how you said, a lot of a lot of cojones, a lot of balls to go to that next level and that's what they say. I'm never talking, I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> Shit. That's why like only a a few of us know that type of level and it and it takes it threw me off, but it it, t it takes a certain type of person because you you have to be willing to sacrifice. You got to be willing to to lose in a sense, and and 
at the end of the day, when you know you gave it your all, like your payoff is just beyond your expectation. And that's what, luckily it's happened to me. Um, obviously that's why we have him. He took a little break drinking. We've been drinking. Um, but it's, it's been years in the game and, and your payoff is better, it's bigger than, than what you invested in. And it's just like, damn, like now we want to teach others and want to tell others, hey, like this is what we got to do. This is what, what the next step is. And our, the scariest part is getting to the next step. So for those that are worried about getting to the next step, you got to get over your fears and you, you just gotta get to, you gotta get over it and just know whatever you already, just know you taking that step is a win-win because others, millions and hundreds of others in that same position will never take that next step. And you know, I'm glad we have Hector here because he was able to, to go to that next step and willing to go to that next step. And shit, I would say like the fucking reward has paid off. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. No, definitely. Has, it has been, it's been fruitful. You know, it's 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 been a a good journey, and and I um like I'm trying to have Luis as my protege, and have him learn everything, but not the drinking part, not the drinking part, <laughs> because I don't know for some uh, reason meeting him we started drinking a lot more and we got to this position, but besides that part, yeah. So, I mean. Let's go back to China. So I get back to China, and I, I, I meet him at the exit of the subway, and we go straight to the to the fair. My God, if I I can tell you guys, if 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 you guys have a chance, definitely you guys have to go to China. And if you guys are in business and trying to source your item, and how 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 I mean, I see all the TikToks, Instagram, all the gurus trying to. Okay, you guys gotta do this, uh, that. Yes, you get, yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 ten, I, I could say ten to thirty percent believe them, you know, and because they're trying to sell you something, but it's everything is so different now, and in, in, in this generation, everything changes like in this time, everything changes okay. so quick yeah. that you guys Fuck gotta it. be on it like so much, but. You guys, anybody could do it, you know. If I, I mean, if I done it, I mean, but, but I mean, but I guess like, I, I mean, I guess I, I, I'm, I'm really, I'm a really hard worker. But, but it, I mean, it's yeah, just like yeah. what you said. Like it takes a certain type of person to do it yeah. because the so when we said sacrifice like time, it's for me now that I'm seeing it for myself. Going to work at 11 p.m., going to work early, you know, we not having that family time or weekends or stuff like that, yeah. like. I think he's been that great example of me speaking, and that's why I've always said it since the beginning. I'm gonna only have people here that I know had an impact in my in my life, or just watching them. And mm -hmm. personally, him being in my life is that impact because we go we can go through a family day like right now, and tomorrow or Monday or it's a holiday, whatever it is, and it could be any holiday. And if it comes to work, he goes to work because. That's the breadwinner, and that's what it takes to be to that next level. Because we can say it all, we gotta work hard, and we yeah. gotta do this, we gotta do that. But the the biggest thing is, if you don't make that action, yeah. you're not your your words are not validated. They're yeah. they're not worth anything. And you have to be okay. Be, like me myself, like I don't know about yeah. you, but like at this point, like I'm okay with it because, how like you said, the reward yeah. is just. That much bigger and it's just like if I gotta do this now like me I have my son that's that's just turned a year he has his daughter that mm -hmm. is gonna be five gonna be five they know but they don't know to that extent so it's like hey daddy gotta go to work daddy gotta go do this for us so we have that food on the table we have the trips but when I say it's it hasn't been easy and this is me just speaking in, in a year two year span this guy's been doing it for uh, like 14 years at least yeah 14 yeah. years and you've yeah. been married like i know we're talking, yeah probably. you've been married about 14 15 yeah. years yeah 14 15 years yeah oh seven <laughs> so we'll get her on yeah. another episode because yeah. she's still a little shy but what we're trying to bring is, is like 
the family aspect, we're both family men now. Like when I met him, I wasn't a family man because we weren't having mm-hmm. a kid. But now it's just like when you have your kid and how I said on the last episode, it should be an inspiration to keep going and do more. And if you think your kid's going to hold you back, like I don't think my personal opinion, maybe us together, the aspect of having a kid is just different because now it's not for us. The longevity isn't for us. The, long, the longevity is for our kids, for our daughters, for our sons to live bigger than us, to live more than us, and to live in a in a prosper land after us. But it, it it gets to that point. So what what would you say is like was one of your biggest things to hold you back, like or to stop you from making that next move? Going back again, it's Everything is time, you know. I have a full-time job, full-time family, you know, full-time side job, business. So it's it's it, everything. I think it's just time management. You know, you just gotta time everything and manage everything, right? You know, I know, I know, I know. Everyone, you know, wants to party, wants to do yeah, yeah. There is time for everything, you know. It's time to travel and everything. But yeah. if you really, if you really want to do something, you really gotta to to put put your heart into it. It just can't be, you know, okay, let's do this. Okay, I'm a I make ten grand this month. Okay, I'm gonna go buy a Benz. You don't need a Benz, you know? Who 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 do you need to show off to? Most <laughs> we're we're yeah. not gonna put yeah. numbers yeah. out there. Yeah. Most humblest mother yeah. mother yeah. effort yeah. I know to this day. Yeah. And I know maybe one or two other ones that make yeah. good money because of their hard work and it shows but the possessions part doesn't matter because how they say, and I, everybody probably has seen that meme that a millionaire will wear regular clothes and if somebody that doesn't have money will, will wear all those like Prada, will wear all those Gucci, Louis Vuitton, when at the end of the day, the money don't last. Mm. The, the possessions and money, they come and go, whatever it goes. But like the longevity of how long you can be in the game, if you make 10 grand and you spend nine grand, I think that's just yeah. the most stupidest. And and I come, I was doing that at a certain point, and now it's just like, why do I feel the need to, to get this type of name yeah. brand when I could pay ten dollars yeah. at another store and get almost the same thing? Exactly. <laughs> it, it's what social media brings out, and yeah. well, that's what we're doing. Like we're not trying to fake it and say, hey, we got this type. Now, nah, yeah. Apple Watch. We got some cowboy boots. We got a Target. We yeah. we we go local and we go cheap. <laughs> because we still look good in it. Yeah. Us saying, but it's just like the time that you were just saying, the money that you're just saying. Yeah. So what was everybody, I mean, what you guys need to do is I mean, don't listen to me, but I mean it, it has worked for me. Is I mean, work, work for me. I'm I'm old school. I, I save. I, I I save, I save. And when the opportunity comes, jump on it. You know, jump on it. This cabin, I mean I bought it two years ago. You know, and a steel, but yeah, but then, don't even say. Yeah. How was it when you walked in? Oh, it was it was a, it was a dump. It was a dump. It was ugly. Yeah. It yeah. was disgusting. Yeah. But those. We'll give you a walkthrough. <laughs> you yeah. Know, but, but it was it was a dump. But I mean, we're in the Big Bear Big Bear Lake area. So now, I mean, I we all know real estate's it's high, but I mean, real estate's still solid you know everybody says it's gonna go down it's gonna down we don't know but it it it, it almost has double the price in two years so and, but i mean i got it as a wholesale deal you know because i saved my money and when the deal came upon i jumped on it you know so so it's, it's like no matter what you make is you still gotta put money to the side yeah yeah so yeah. if you make a hundred bucks don't waste a hundred bucks no no i mean yeah <laughs> right yeah, i mean yeah, nowadays yeah. Age, like hundred bucks doesn't yeah, last yeah but, if you if you win, say a regular paycheck, you you make maybe uh, 140 a day or whatever. And if you spend 130, well, you got yeah. nothing. You got nothing for the rainy days. No, yeah, you definitely have to save up. You know, you work, you work, you save, you save, you save, and and of that of that money you save, you you invest half of it, and that half of it, say you double it or 25 percent, and throughout throughout the time you're. You, you know, you're making money on your own money, you know, and that's how it, it's worked on me. I have, I have, I remember this. I remember clearly when I bought those fender flares, I, I started with 300 bucks. He goes, okay, 
buy three, you know, buy this, but okay, I'm gonna buy 300. I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, I'm like, I'm gonna lose. If I lose, I could have, I could have done this with that with that. But it worked out. I doubled it. I tripled it. I, but that money, I never spent it. I, and then before, I know I was buying three thousand dollar deals, six thousand dollar deals, and I was doubling, tripling the money. You know, yeah, yeah. walking yeah. testimony, bro. Walking yeah. testimony, no uh, doubt, no fucking yeah. doubt. Yeah. So I was, I'm like, doubling, tripling the money. I'm like, God, I'm like, and then I've seen them. I mean, the numbers don't lie. The numbers are there. So I'm like, yeah, yeah this is working, you know. And then my friend introduced me to China. And I'm like, Shh. and then I, I started from China and I started, because, I mean, on everything is research, you know, it's research, you gotta learn, you gotta learn the product, you gotta learn how to sell it, you gotta learn what your competitors are doing, how they're doing it, how they do, why they're doing it, you know, it, 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 everything, the algorithms always change, you know, from day to day, so, but you gotta learn it and you gotta be on top of it, that's how I do it, I mean, I work up early in the morning, I do my orders, I do the research, I'm see, okay, I'm I think I, I, I seen them. a, a yeah. A, a post like the last two weeks and it's been in my head that for entrepreneurs you work your regular nine to five job mm -hmm. or whatever it is but once you get home you work your second job which yeah. is your business it's like th this man it, it's not giving us a single penny yet or anything but yeah. we're doing this because this is is for me this is just after like one day it will pay off but biggest thing is, man, we're trying to help out whoever's watching yeah. that for the next people that's coming up, the same generation as me or younger, trying to come up. I mean, there, there's a businessman yeah. that we're having on here that a regular dude, a regular dude yeah. that's come from a that's, loving family yeah. that came from, you know, as my parents, Hispanic, came from other side, came here and did something. It takes a certain month, a certain person to do it. But it takes like you can't be afraid yeah. of of of, re, of failing, because how many and maybe that you have a number. How many times did you fail? Uh, I'm still failing to this day because I bring products in, and on those products I'm like, okay, I'm a, okay, yeah, I'm gonna hit it big because I like that uh, item. Not because I like it, it's yeah. gonna hit big. It doesn't, you know. So don't go. It's it's always on research and market market data, you know. Yeah. So you, like I have, I mean, I I have. I easy out of my inventory you have 30 percent 40 percent doesn't move then I need liquidate but out of, out of those 60 percent of the products brings everything up you know so it's it's something that you just have to research and like he said we're trying to I'm trying to help him he's trying to help you guys but yeah. once it everything opens you know China I'm gonna go China. back to China I'm taking we whoever, 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 that's whoever, another whoever, whoever, whoever wants to do it. I mean, I could give you guys the steps. I, could, I mean, I could tell you how I done it, because I mean, there's money for everyone. You know, there's, there's, there's there, yeah. if, if my boy watches yeah. it, I sold para todos. Yeah, yeah. I sold para todos, and those guys and those people that greed and don't want to tell you, yeah. it's just like there's things that you don't want to say, but like him. Me, yeah. when I talk to my people, when he talks to his people, yeah. it's just like, he gave me that breakdown. I give it to other people, and it's just like, if I can do it, you can do it. If he can do it, I know I can do it. And it's just like, there's no limit to what you can do. It's only the limit that you give yourself. Yeah. And if you work X amount of money, and you buy 1942 bottles, and you buy this extravagant things, and this, and go on trips, this, this, this. But at the end of the day, you don't have money for a rainy day. It's just like, man, what are you really doing? No. I, you know, I, I had to go through that. Yeah. Like, I had to go through life. I had to go through credit cards. Yeah. Finally, I don't got a credit card because now everything is just like, I can't have no debt. But it's just like the opportunities and the risks that I take are always, are always big. But if you give it everything, the reward that you got is just like, you don't have... Your reward is a lot bigger than what you invested in, and sometimes, like honestly, like I would say that pays off. No, yeah, definitely, definitely pays off. Yeah. Where are we at? Where are we at? Twenty nine. Twenty nine minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Should we do a part two on this? Yeah, we'll give a part two. Give us a quick second. We'll be right back. Let's get it. We're back from a quick uh, drink, little break. Um, so we finished talking about China business. Um, literally the rundown of how he came up about he's just giving us the jewels about business 
and how to kind of do it, which is, man, you just, you gotta, you can't be afraid of the opportunities that present themselves. But what I, I was telling them right now is I want to ask, like, do you think it really matters about who you have around you? Yeah, no, definitely, definitely you have to surround yourself with, with people that, um, that are going to help you, yeah. push you, and you learn from, you know? Right. Like I said, like my, my friend that started me, even though we partied together, he, he the one that pushed me to do it. Then my other friend that pushed me to go to China, Simone. and and now it's just like, you, you guys, everyone sees the the gurus online. Now that, I say twenty thirty percent is true with it, with the sand, you know. And I, I remember now going back to my friend that that, that took me to China. He, this is like ten years ago, eight years ago. He's he's telling me, hey, compa. He's like, hey, dude, you know. Who's your competitor? Okay, this boom boom boom. Okay, this is my competitor. This is what I do. Okay, there's there's a there's a website that tells you it's called the Import Genius. Now everybody's talking about it, but we knew about it eight, eight it years out. ago. He goes, okay, so check check Import Genius. He goes, and your your who's your competitor? You can see who who they're bringing from in China. And I'm like, all right. So I'm like, okay, I went boom boom boom. And go, okay, here's my competitor. I'm like, I'm like. And so I I checked who they're buying from in China. So I contacted the the, the straight to that. Yeah, the the manufacturer. And I'm like, yeah, Chinese they'll sell to anybody, you know. So I'm like, yeah, and boom. <laughs> Sooner or later, I have my shipments coming from the, you know. So now I'm competing with big guys. You know what I mean? They're yeah, like, yeah, like, and they they they're like like and like me. I'm like. Yeah. You're a quiet dude. Yeah. People like yeah. right now we're speaking, but you're yeah. a, you're a reserved yeah. mother. Yeah, you're a reserved dude. You don't talk too much. So, so again, now, I got lucky yeah. getting him on here. So go ahead. So now I'm one of the bigger sellers for that item online. You know, and, and not everything's like good. You know what I mean? Because that item that I was bringing it, now I got hit with a patent. So now I have to hit pay royalties, but it's part of the game. You know, but it's 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 just a big headache. But some of the items that that. Like everybody talks the talk, okay, you're gonna make money, you're gonna make a lot of money. But there's there's like regulation, there's just like everything oh, behind little it. Thing, little yeah, thing yeah, like that. legality like, is too bad. So yeah, like yeah. this item, I'm paying, you know, it's a, it's a royalty item, the guy has a patent, but the item sounds so good, I have to pay him 7% of what I'm selling. You know, so now I have to pay him quarterly and you know, and it's every, he wants reports and all that. So it's not easy, like everybody tells it, you know. It definitely not easy, but I mean, it's it's still rewarding, you know. It's still worth me paying the royalties about it, you know, instead of going to court and getting sued or going back after everything, you know. The tough part, yeah. The, the not the tough part, yeah. but the things that take longer, yeah. take up more yeah. of your time, which takes you away from yeah. your profession and what you're doing. Yeah. So like again, I'll go back to it. So like, what would you say now? Like speaking to me, speaking to them, whoever listening, like because. Yeah. From what I get of, of, off of our analytics, we get people our age in the 20s, 18s, yeah. and people in the 30s and 40s. Yeah. Like, uh, can we say your age? Yeah, 41. Uh, 41 years old. What would you say, like, for people in the 30s, 20s, like, what? It's, 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 it's never too late. Find you your know? groove? Yeah, no, it's never too late. Because, I mean, you can start one day, and you learn it, and you put enough time, you'll be able to do what you want you know i have i have i have a lot of people that um that i taught and they've been making you know a lot of people yeah. that taught and haven't been going through because it, it takes time it's not easy like everybody says okay no, yeah do this no. uh, you're gonna freaking make a 20 30 000 a month you ain't, you know <laughs> you make it's it. not because when yeah. he when he put me on the dash cam yeah. it's like when i say it took a while to be selling yeah. it took a while but once it hit I mean, we won't throw the exact number, but we're throwing fifty dollars a camera, and we're selling maybe ten a week. Yeah. We'll let you guys do that that one. But it, it for me, you know, getting someone yeah. like him, and not on my roster, but as, as a mentor, is just insane. Because again, it goes into who you have around you, and like I always said yeah. in the previous video, in the previous video before that, like what my grandpa has said, and I'll bring him up, you know grandpa forever um tell me who you're with and my mom tell me who you're with and i'll tell you who, who you are and as how he said earlier as parties and as much as we may drink or whatever sometimes the best conversations come when when you drink with somebody because man you get you get the the raw the, you get everything 
There's no secrets around it. There's no sugar coating. Because how you, he yeah. said it before this. I'm not going to take a long time. Yeah. We're on a long time, but I'm not going to take a long But we're going to get right to it. Yeah. And it's, if you try to sugarcoat it for anybody and not paint the main picture, you're, yeah. you're crippling them. I, I'll give you guys one example. I, I, um, when I was selling, it was starting in eBay, I, was, I had this guy from Mexico, and he, he's like, hey, quiero comprar este producto, I want to buy this product from you, blah, 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 and just create a relationship. I'm like, ah, oh, whatever, you know? So, but then he continued emailing me, and I'm like, all right, I'll, I'll sell you the product. And then he's from the same city I am, it's a small world. I'm like, okay, so I called them, blah, 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 and we became friends, and, um, and out, of the, out of that sale, he was buying more and more because he was doing custom cars, he, you know, he was doing for his specialty, Jesus. you know, um, customers. Yeah. And um, he's like, oh, okay. He, and so we created a relationship and, they, and then out of a relationship, I went to go visit him in Mexico. And long story short, he introduced me to, to friends, family. So now out of that, 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 that relationship I created with him, his brother, I started investing in real estate with him in Mexico. And that's how I started. And, and now, I mean, it's been like five years. We've gone through some bad times, good times. But I can tell you this much, it's it, that, that being so humble with the guy and being so like, you know, yeah. I'll help you out, he helps me out. Right. I mean, that, that relationship with that guy has taken me with his brother to another level where I'm buying, you know, five, six homes so a now, year if, if you go to Mexico, yeah. you need an Airbnb. <laughs> Yeah. You know who to hit up. Yeah. But damn, that's fucking crazy. Yeah. So it, you, you just don't know who you're going to come across Facts. and learn from or Facts. be a, a business partner with, you know? Facts. And I mean, I have friends that are just millionaires and they're like, they never stop learning. They're never, you know, they always have to, you know, even though um, I have a friend from, from university or college, he goes, man, he goes, there's no, there's no millionaire. That only has one business. He has something in everything, you know. So you have to, you know, if you guys, I mean, I know, I know a lot of us. I mean, like me, I was comfortable with one job, you know. But if you guys could start anything in the side and do it legitimate, you know, don't don't be corners, do it straight. I strongly recommend it, you know. And it, the payoff is the reward is because super you good. like you already went yeah. to it. Yeah, I already. Right? Yeah. I think. It, when, for the people listening, and if you watch this far, like he's speaking out of 15 years, 14, 15 years of being in this industry and being in the, in the business. He's not talking about somebody that's watched TikToks or YouTube yeah. or our Instagram that we're all on and just said, hey, if you do this, you do this. A lot of people will do yeah. that. Yeah. He's speaking like this is firsthand. He, losing money, gaining money. And I think he told me, Damn, scared of money don't make money. Yeah. At, at, at the end of the day, it's, again, it's how humble you are, yeah. right? Because I don't think you can meet other people if you're arrogant yeah. and if you're big-headed. Like, you got to remember where you came from. In my, you got to remember where you came from, 10 toes into the floor, and carry yourself the way you always carry yourself. And, yeah, you change the way, like, as times go, but you just adapt to yeah. what the situations and, and the events that have happened to you and that's how it goes like yeah. you know um we're here in this podcast and now yeah everybody posts we're drinking we're posting some bottles whatever for everybody that's watching i mean they're not hundred thousand bottles like you know it's for how we say it, if it, it's a good bottle we it get us to where we, we need to it is what it is but for us to flaunt money and this and that like we don't need that because we know what we have he knows what he has I know what I have and at the end of the day when you get to that position it's just you know you don't you you know you don't you don't have that need to show it you know what I mean a lot of people now whether whatever they make no offense to anybody but if you want to impress social media by buying Gucci or buying this or that or whatever it is yet you don't have money for a rainy day it's just that's tough but everybody learns at their own pace because I learned it and being close to him and being with him, it was, it was a reality check because he was like, hey, let's do this, let's do that. And it's like, damn, I don't got it. 
I don't got it. <laughs> I got to do something for me to have it now. And again, it goes back to about who you have with, who you who you around with, who you're with as your partner and with my partner. And again, for the last episode, when you have a family, more things are at stake. Yeah, definitely. When you have a family, more things are at stake because now it's not just your food on the table. It's everybody's food on the table. And as not trying to be controversial or, or whatever, but as men, we feel like we're the head of the household. We need to be able to provide that. And if we're not able to, it, it, the feeling is different for everybody. But for us, I'm sure it's just, it's tough. But again, this, man, you're talking about real estate in another country, real estate here, business here. So you're talking about, man, 15 years just summed up in like 30, 40 minutes of a video. And so what, I mean, I know you hate being on camera, so <laughs> we'll, we'll end on this one because there's a lot. And honestly- I, 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 I definitely, I definitely, I mean, I mean, I, I definitely could show you guys what I have, the numbers and I mean, it, none of that would help if you guys, if, if any of you guys are not, you know, up to it, you know. Yeah. If you're not so, motivated, yeah. you gotta so be it, fucking it, motivated. It, I mean, you guys. I mean, I could. I mean, I could give him my number. He, he could. You guys could call me or him, and we could, you know. But if you're not motivated and you're not into it, because we, we, there's different people. There's the nine to five people. There's business people. You know, I, I never thought I was a business guy. You know, but it's just. I mean, the the now you're life, known life, as I teach you, the yes, businessman. Yeah. Like, I mean, I have, I mean, I mean, have friends that are, that have been business and, and don't want to do business. They just want a nine five, you know. But we all choose our different, you know. It, it is not something on. You choose the better you want to yeah, do it. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's it's like whoever wants to do it, you know. I have friends that are starting, you know, family are starting and doing business and doing good. And some of the guys are choosing nine to five and trying to learn something, and it's hard. It, it's it's for, it's super hard, you know. It's not easy, but. Yeah. If you don't put time, you're not you're not gonna know. You know, you would you would, you're not gonna know how how to do it or you know. But I definitely recommend everybody to if they want to get to that next level. Yeah, to to hang around with people, learn. You know, take classes, learn. You yeah, know, it, it, everything. There's there nowadays. There's you know there's, there's a lot a lot of stuff. You know, there's yeah. you know like right now we're on on, on YouTube, social media. Yeah. Social media is endless. Yeah, right. I can tell you this much on social media. I don't do nothing on social media, and I always tell <laughs> Tom Reese, I'm like, so that's, mean, what, so it, that's it, what I told him. Yeah, Let me get yeah, you yeah. on here because yeah. social media is to the next no, level. I, I he has not hit yeah. his Instagram yeah. for business and yeah. everything. Yeah, it's nowhere near. Yeah, by this I tell him if I man if I get one product if I do social media on this product and I'll have somebody back me, you know, doing the social media for me, I. I mean, I think I could double my income what I'm making, but I mean, I don't have the time, you know, and, and I don't have the good people to, to back me up on it. Takes it. A, it takes yeah. a village, but yeah. under, like me speaking like, yeah. and on camera, and I've told you yeah. this outside of it, what it takes a village to do, you're doing it on yeah. your own, and yeah. that, that's just hands down applause yeah. and praise yeah. because it's saying, because you found the motivation that a lot of us as youngsters, as older people, don't find until man either way later or, or sadly we never find it yeah. and uh you know i i see him i see my dad i see my family and it's just like they they had to have something instilled in their minds that got them to the position that you know now we're able to sit how i said we're, we're able to sit in his own real estate his own investment property that other people will enjoy to have it one day when they when they rent it out. But now we're sitting here and we're able to enjoy it. He's able to enjoy it. And if, if you guys outside of camera ever see him, you guys will know mm -hmm. he will never speak about this this much. And I, I'm glad, I'm blessed mm -hmm. that we're able to, to have him on here. But honestly, like, I want to say the last yeah. fucking call before we pour our fucking shots. What would you say what, to the next generation coming up? What, what's I your mean, advice? While you pour your shot, pour your shot. Just, just, I mean, guys, just give it all you got, you know, and hang around with the the right crowd. Learn, you know. Just learn, or I mean, 
hang around with good people, you know. That's how I, I came up, you know. But stay humble. Oh, definitely stay humble. Stay humble. Stay don't, humble and, don't and, let it and learn, you. learn, learn from everything, you know. Don't don't be that idiot. You're too good for for this, for that, you know. Because yeah, you 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 see you see and you 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 you'll see like oh my god damn look at look at that people he or that person he's like he's posting on Instagram and he's like but but dude like a year from now I'm like God he made it like how how did he make you know what I mean like and just try your best you know be humble and, and do it because anybody can do it definitely anybody now this this time you guys got all the the tools to tools, make it yeah sure. tools to make it so you guys don't make it it's because your fault you know what I mean. And there's don't no blame mothers. mothers. Don't yeah, fucking yeah, blame mothers. Yeah, there's, I mean, there's everything. You know, you could t ask me. You could ask Luis. It, and, it, it, you know? Again, it, mm -hmm. if you ask me in in social media, Twitter, Instagram, whatever it is, in person, when I tell you what I had to do in order to even live where I live or do what I do, it it, it it's never came easy, and it wasn't just because I learned it, but I learned it from the people I've been around yeah. with. And for the last, what is it, three years now? Man? Three years. About three going on four. Mm -hmm. As much as it was bad meeting him because it, <laughs> we drink together, yeah. it was a blessing because yeah. now the mentality, and I, and I said it year, like uh, years ago, I said it episodes ago, having the right set of crowd, having that mentality around you or that ambition around you yeah. will set you up for the next step. Um, Shit, now we're here and we're in that next step and it's only going up. So everybody watching, if you're scared to make the next step or to do that investment or whatever it is. And I said it earlier in the week, the people that don't want you to succeed will always hold yeah. you back. Yeah. The people that want you to, to go to that next level and level up will always support it. And I strongly believe it. Like, even if it doesn't go well, they still support you. But, yeah. but if, it's not, if it's not in you... <laughs> you're know? never doing it but yeah, what you, yeah. you say if you don't believe in yourself yeah. Yeah. you will never do it and I've said it before on Instagram it, you gotta be the best believer in yourself yeah. don't let anybody else be believing in you more than you because it won't stick with you even on rainy days even on good days on bad days <laughs> good and bad keep yeah. going because shit at the end of the day it's it's a you against the world yeah. and if it's not you then it <laughs> And let there be somebody else that takes yeah. what you didn't do. Oh, and definitely. Damn, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. there's shit. Damn, we went a while. There's still yeah. more to go. And you said there wasn't a lot, but. He said 10 minutes. He said 10 <laughs> minutes, and we're there now. Yeah. But we'll take a toast to life because a toast, we're in, in my brother's property. We're in his presence, and we're just blessed for another day. So for the, those watching, like, share, subscribe. We appreciate you guys. Stay tuned for the next one. And here we go. Whatever you got, take a shot.